Hey there, today we're going to take photos of this porch. As you can see, it's really bright outside of the porch, but uh, inside the porch, it's really dark. So if you'll notice, the ceiling is brown wood. So therefore, I would not grab my flash and bounce that off of the ceiling because it's not going to do much because it's not white. All that uh, dark wood will just soak up all of the uh, light that I shine right on it. So what I'm going to do to get this shot is I'm going to use my umbrella. It's a shoot through umbrella, nice, cheap, white shoot through umbrella. And what I'm going to do since I can't bounce the flash is I'm going to go shoot through this umbrella and get the inside lit up. And then I'm going to do some different settings to get outside of the porch. So everything, matches really good and makes it look real sharp. So we're going to start right now by getting the composition. Okay, I'm going to use the camera as my video camera for a minute so I can show you how I'm going to get my composition here. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to crank it until that left pillar there. I'm going to crank it to right where it meets together. So on the right hand, I can see a little bit of the lake. To the left, I can still see that it's uh, nature and it's a pretty scene there. We do have our uh, fireplace as a focal point. And now what I'm going to do is make sure that our verticals are vertical, which they pretty much are already. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is mess with the settings here and I will give you those in a minute. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to set it to where the outside looks really good. And then I'm going to try lighting up the inside with the shoot through umbrella. We'll see how that goes. All right. And what I've decided to use for this shot, uh, 125th of a second shutter speed seems to be the sweet spot. And I'm at a 7.1 F stop and I've got the ISO set to 200. Why not 100? Why 200? Because if I put it to 200, I got a little bit more power out of my flash. That is why. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a setting on my AD200 by Godox, in case you're wondering. I'm going to try it on full power and shoot through this umbrella. So the way I'm going to work this is I would I'm not going to try to do the whole scene at once. I'm going to break it up into two parts, maybe more. We'll see. But I'm going to shoot this way and get the left hand side. Then I'm going to shoot the right hand and get the right hand side and maybe one in the middle. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I don't get shadows from the ceiling fan. All right. So we're going to start with this left hand side. And I'm going to pick a focal point, in case you're wondering, which, of course, is going to be the fireplace, right? So I'm going to shoot here to the left. Okay, that seems to go pretty good. Now, because I got a remote, which if you're going to ask me, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's Yongnuo 603C2, which does work. It's made for a Canon, but it does work on a Sony and I'm using a Sony A6500. Yes, that is a crop sensor, works great for real estate. So the next shot I'm going to do is on this other side, All right? And then I'm gonna do one more straight on, somewhat behind the camera. Now, I'm not gonna hold it up like this because if I do, that is going to put a shadow from the ceiling fan onto the chimney. So I'm gonna lower it a little bit and there we go. Okay, I have our three photos loaded into Photoshop. Picture number one, where we pointed the umbrella to the left. Picture number two, when we pointed the umbrella to the right. And number three, where we pointed it straight at the chimney. All right? So what I'm going to look for in each of the photos, what I like, don't like. There's a shadow here, don't like that. That one doesn't have the shadow that, but this is horrible, this is horrible, but this is okay over here, which is where we pointed at anyway. And this is where we pointed 
the umbrella at and then that's the part I like on that side we're gonna start with picture number one so I'm on a Mac I'm gonna hit command a if you're on a PC it's be control a so when I say command it's control on a PC so command a select everything command C to copy pick the next photo command V to paste now what I'm gonna do I've got them in layers over here I'm gonna go ahead and do a mask I'm gonna toggle back and forth and see what I want to use no surprise this was pointed this direction so I think I'll use some of that side of the photo I'm gonna pick a paintbrush 100% opacity actually I'm gonna drop that down to let's say 50 and I'm gonna paint with black so I can reveal I'm gonna go over here and brighten it up because that's how the photo is underneath it it's a little bit brighter subtle change nothing major we toggle back and forth hey okay. see how we're doing toggle again I really don't see anything else that I would want from picture number two except for that uh, shadow part right there so we're gonna do something different and uh, you'll understand why when I finish up with it okay so what I'm gonna do is take the background layer and I'm gonna duplicate it why well you'll find out in a minute so I'm okay with these first two layers meaning the adjustments I did so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift click those two layers right click I'm gonna merge those two layers now underneath it I still have that second photo but what I'm going to do now is do another mask and I'm gonna fix a shaded area take it to hundred percent paint with black make sure it only covers that shadow all right double click on it great so now what well this is why I wanted to do a different uh, background picture for this move it's because I'm gonna go to the background layer click adjustments click on brighten and then watch that shadow spot when I raise the brightness I'm gonna raise it until it blends in about right there now see if I would have done that in the previous step it would have brightened up everything I did over here too much I wanted to keep it just the way it was so now we got rid of that shadow so I'm gonna go ahead right click flatten the image I'm gonna hit command a command C command V on this next photo here and see what I want to use out of that I have them in layers I'm gonna make the first one a mask I'm gonna to toggle back and forth All right so what I do see is that the ceiling is almost better except for this shady spot right there so I may leave that alone the fireplace looks better here when I toggle watch after before or the one underneath before one underneath before one underneath one other thing I see I like is this V comes whoops control V is this uh, V right here if you'll see when I reveal it you see that nice little V there I think I'll bring that back too so paintbrush go to let's say 46 percent and I'm gonna work on this fireplace brightening it up because the photo underneath is brightened okay and bring in this V I like it all right let's toggle back and forth see if there's any nitpicky yeah I could still make this brighten here a little bit toggle maybe even right here nope, that darkened it command Z to undo before after before after before after all right so I'm gonna leave it there so flatten image all right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these leaves that are probably driving most of you crazy there's a lot of things down here on the ground that's driving me nuts but since we're only doing this for tutorial purposes and this isn't actually going to anyone I'll quickly get rid of the leaves and then uh, we'll go into Adobe Raw and we'll straighten this up and correct a few more things so I'll see you in a minute all right we got the picture loaded into Adobe Raw the first thing I'm going to do is fix the verticals so I'm gonna go over here under geometry upright and I'm gonna click auto usually does a pretty good job and that looks pretty good 
The next thing I'm going to do is pick the paintbrush. I'm going to paint with about 55% exposure, maybe just a little bit brighter than that. Let's try 65. And see this darkened area here? I want to kind of lighten that up just a little bit. It's driving me crazy. Why is that darker than the rest of it? All right. I'm going to create a new brush, bring that down a little bit to maybe 30%. Do that one more time. Just lighten it up ever so slightly. All right, um, other than that, let's boost the vibrancy just a little bit. Uh, and then I always like to look at it at the size that the realtor's probably gonna see it at. And it looks really good. Whether it's big or small, it looks really good. Now, yes, the floor could have been cleaned up. Uh, this was not a home that I was getting paid to shoot. It is one that has already got a contract on it. The realtor let me just go out there to do a quick shoot on the back porch. So it needs a little TLC and cleaning down here. But other than that, turned out really good. Hope this helped. Thank you very much.